Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. This video was sent over to me by my homie Ricky, um, 3MG Live. Uh, his channel will be inside the description as well as the link to this video. Now, he hit me up in the text and was like, hey yo man, I got a fire idea for a fire video and I want to know if this was react worthy. Now, usually when people make videos like these, I give them like, you know, air high fives from like long distance saying, yo, bro, beautiful idea. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be reacting to his video. But after we get done with his video, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the entire system. Now, you guys see from the title of the video, it says NBA 2K18. Do not grind on my park for badges. Must watch. All right. So since this is a must watch video, let's check it out. What is going on YouTube, it's your boy 3 we back with another video. Now, look, man, there's so much 2K content dropping. What's going on, guys? It's 3 doing another video. <laughs> I need this damn game already. I ain't gonna hold you up. Now, I already got the archetype builds on lock. I already got all these mob player, mob, the best build videos, all that good stuff I've been sinking in. I've been taking in all this information, man. 2K had announced you no longer have to grind for badges on the mock career. None of that good, like, you don't have to do that no more. So no I'm going to be grinding on all modes to get my player up there, bro. But there's still a problem, which is probably going to get me to go back to my career, fam. And I'm going to just go right into it. Look at this image right here. This was a gentleman by the name of Al Consumer, if I'm not mistaken. He had... Hey, shout out to the plug, Al Consumer. Yeah, yeah. Played some mob park, and this was like his earnings after the game. It shows here his deep three was one out of one. He earned 880 points. That's beautiful right there. A lot of us was like, yo, 12,000 to unlock these badges? But it doesn't seem that difficult. He took one deep range three and he was able to get 880 points. That means several more matches that'll go towards the limitless range. He'll be able to unlock it. But this right. is where the problem starts. If you ever play with randoms, you ain't getting none of these badges, bruh. Everybody. We're going to talk about that. He's going to want to grind. People going to be ball hogging to get these tireless score shots and catch and shoot. Limitless range, deep range, dead eye. People gonna be ball hogging, cause think about it. For one game, this guy was only able to get one deep range three. A game of 21. Imagine when you play with your boys, bro. When you squad up with your team. You gotta understand, they're gonna wanna get their badges too. I don't know about y'all, but I already got this game plan ready. So listen, peep this. If I have to unlock limitless range, tireless score, whatever badge I have to unlock, depending on my archetype and build, whatever, I'm taking the difficult ones back to my career, bro. And even if they say, look, if you got to shoot deep threes, you're not going to earn 880, you're going to earn 440. However that works, I'm going to still do it because, bruh, people going to be ball hogging like crazy. <laughs> Come on, fam. Even when you play with your squad, they're going to want to get their badges. People going to be grinding. Now, mind Thanks. you, if say I unlock the limitless range and the tireless score and catch and shoot, and I got to get shit like, you know, assist. Oh, I'm br I'll bring that to the pro and part. I don't mind. I'll just pass the rock all day. But imagine a game of 21, you grinding with your boys. You think I want to share? Hell no. I'm taking this back to my career, man. Y'all got me messed up. Now, I don't know about y'all. Y'all might think I'm out of pocket, but nah, bro. Look, I'm going to put this 100 speed. I'm going to put the 12-minute quarters, and then hopefully they got an orange juice, grape juice, whatever boost they got into my career. I'm taking myself back there, bro. <laughs> he said orange juice, grape juice, what? Finding. Hopefully they got another justice in that game so where I could just cheese. That, that was ultra cheese. I ain't going to hold you up. But that helped me get badges fast. But if that means I got to start pass, you think I want to pass? You think I want to pass the ball? I want to take these threes. I'm a sharp. I want to take these long range. I don't got time to be pa Pause. You say you're going to take these long range, sir? Yeah, you said that. Passing it to teammates. I'm sorry, y'all. I sound like a terrible, terrible player and teammate. But I don't give a damn. I'm grinding. I'm not trying to pass the ball and earn 100 points. I'm good. But I just wanted you guys to know that I don't know 100% how this system is gonna work but i do know you may have to play every mode to really get the fastest upgrades level progression as possible but if you're able to go through my career no problem because hopefully they didn't forget about the people who do play my career then i'm gonna just go back to that and get some of these difficult badges that's just me if you already knew this then okay i'm done but it's your boy 3mg hopefully you guys enjoy like favor subscribe and i'm out of here man peace got me thinking i'm gonna pass this shit. Well, Ricky. <laughs>
All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about it, man. So I'm going to try to talk to you guys for the length of this video about the whole do not grind on my part for badges because you're going to be playing with randoms. Now, now that I've hit the play button, it's time to talk about it. I will say one thing. In order to grind for badges, okay, that just, don't even worry about that. Let's let's start the video over. I tried to catch the uh, tripod, but it just, we're going to start over. All right, so in order to grind on my park for your badges, you have to grind for the simplest badges. But to be honest, I wouldn't grind on my park for badges at all. Now, I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, but why? Just because of the simple fact that some player builds will not work to grind on my part. A player like me being a ball handler slash shot creator, my first badge I want is Ankle Breaker Hall of Fame. So you know that the double move to score and double move to assist is definitely going to be a thing. Now what happens in my park? Double move, you pass it to your friend. What does he want to do? He wants to get the double move too, right? So when you pass it to him, even if he open, sometimes he's going to bring that thing back up top. He, he's got about 13 seconds left on the shot clock. He's going to want to work them ankles too, get that double move too, and then pass it back to you in the corner or go for that layup or that dunk. So when it comes to grinding for your badges, no. Badges on my park and Pro-Am can happen organically. I would not just go into that mode and say, I'm definitely going to get a tireless score or I'm definitely going to get ankle breaker. Or I'm definitely going to get hustle rebound and stuff like that. Like you might even be able to get a, like, if you're a big, you might be able to get the hustle rebounder badge or whatever. You can get that. But as far as like regular badges that take a long time to get, no, 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 no. Like inside this screenshot, he's showing you the deep three. He was one out of one, right? But to be honest, Maybe he didn't take as many shots as you would think he would have to get that deep three one. Because I know for a fact, me being a shot creating ball handler, I'll definitely be passing it out to my guys trying to shoot from long range, trying to get that limitless range badge. And if that badge isn't activated or they're working on it, I know that they're going to take the shots. Just for instance, if I'm playing with Hawkman and I know Hawkman created a sharp, every time I pass the Hawkman, Hawkman is going to shoot the ball. All I got to do is pass it to him and tell him to shoot. But when you go to play, play with randoms, Oh, that's when all hell break loose, baby. You, you ain't going to be able to grind for no badges. But one thing that I can say is things can get tiring in my career grinding for badges. Now, me, I would not put it on 100 game speed in 12 minute quarters. I will put it on rookie. I will put it on the lowest minute quarter, which is five or six. And I would just grind out those games because in essentially... The more games you play, the more times you can go to the gym and work out, the more times you can upgrade your player's attributes by the more games you succeed in, more games, uh, stats that you'll have, such as uh, double-digit assists, double-digit steals, double-digit blocks, double-digit scoring in the high 30s and 40s. You can basically progress your my career and be done, in a, be done the entire season in about a week or two. You know what I'm saying? Like you can grind, you can grind this out and just nickel penny diamond, man, instead of going to my park and dealing with a bunch of randoms or dealing with your teammates that it's just think about it. You got a point forward, you got a pure ball handler and you got a shot creating ball handler. What's going to happen? Every time the ball touch hands, they going to get their moves off. And the more time that you hold the ball the more likely you won't get an assist. So your ankle breaker gold or hall of fame that you're working on is not going to happen. I'm just saying that's, that's the things that happen in my park. pro Am's a totally different story. pro Am, in fact, people have to kind of play together in a well-meshed arena, which is five on five. So it's not really space to do all those crazy things. So what will technically happen is in pro Am. If we're running down on a break and I know that I can do two double moves real quick, but I see the dude in the corner, I'm going to do my do two double moves and kick it to the quarter for his three. If I know for a fact that a dude just hit a nice pick, I'm definitely going to pass it to him on a roll. You feel me? Those things will happen. So definitely, definitely, definitely pro ams a better scenario to work on badges, especially for guards and bigs. As far as wing players and stuff like that, you just got pretty guy. They pass you the ball. You know what I'm saying? Because wing players, they essentially are not going to have ball dominance. Only big men and guards really have ball dominance in 2K. We really don't see too many wing players with the ball for too long. If they don't have a shot, they kick it. They kick it back to the person getting the offense so they can get the ball. 
ball moving. Most of the time, the guard is bringing the ball down. Most of the time, when the center gets the rebound, the center is not passing it out unless you call for it, yell for it, scream for it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So most of the time, when the center gets that rebound, he's going to put it back up. You want to know why? There's a 50-50 chance he makes it. A 50-50 chance he'll get that rebound, and that'll work towards his next goal, his next badge. So centers, centers really got it good. I'm just going to go ahead and admit, centers really don't have to do too much besides set screens, going for rebounds, set screens, going for rebounds. After they get the rebound, kick it down court for a long pass for break starter. They don't got to do much. But when it comes to guards and you have to work on all these dribbling and shooting badges and shooters working on all these shooting badges and every aspect of mid-range dead eye and long-range dead eye and limitless range and oh, the list can go on, guys. But what I will say... 3MG, you're right. I would never go to my park and say the grind starts here. Heck no. We know the deal. We've been playing 2K for too long to say we're going to go to my park and grind for our badge. You got me all the way messed up. You understand me? Also, that orange juice, grape juice, that was hilarious. You get a high five. Case money. <laughs>